The debate about the controversial Public Order Management Bill passed two weeks ago continues to rage on among civil society members with sharp criticisms being leveled at the government. In the bill it talks about, for example, if in a, any public gathering you're going to talk about principles, actions, omissions or failures of the government or of any political party or organization, that is not acceptable. The contents of the bill that was hastily passed in an unruly house have apparently not been made public. The version that is public is the old bill that had a wide range of prohibitive clauses. The State Minister for Internal Affairs, James Barber, called a news conference to clarify the contents of the new bill. Thus, the Public Order Management Bill does not prohibit public gatherings anymore since that ruling by the Constitutional Court. But the new bill now seeks and gives the power to the police only to regulate for the greater public interest and common good of us all. As you demonstrate, you need to inform police that we are going to walk from Ginger Road through Kampala Road to Constitutional Square so that the traffic either is diverted because there are those who might not be part of your demonstration and that is what is in the bill. But human rights advocates still hold reservations about the bill. Despite the spirit of the bill, if it, if it is so, is to regulate uh, public meetings, that this spirit would be adhered to during the implementation of this law. Because, as we all know, sometimes what the law says and what the government agencies do has not been, cause, has not been in harmony. Some of the clauses changed from the previous bill are the seven-day notice that organizers of public gatherings were required to inform the Inspector General of Police before being granted permission, which is now reduced to three days. Another change was in the wording in the powers granted to the Inspector General of Police, which was altered from being prohibit to regulate public gatherings. A number of civil society activists have vowed to take the government to court over what they call the violation of constitutionally guaranteed laws. The bill currently awaits the president's approval before it becomes an act of parliament. The clarification by the government officials has been met with some skepticism by some members of the civil society who still believe that this is one way of snuffing out the right to assemble and demonstrate which are guaranteed in the constitution. Krista Chamringa, NTV Parliament.